Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will be reviewing the palette that I did on the last video. If you guys have seen that video, which is the unboxing makeup, and the palette that we'll be doing is this one. Barella. I don't know if you guys can see that. So that's the one that I'm going to be using today. And then I'm also going to be using the Foundation Beauty Creations. This one. I would also be reviewing banana setting powder and then of course I'll be trying to use some of their brushes which is Lorella brushes and of course the beauty sponge which is from the makeup shack so let's get to it okay so first of all I'll be priming my face the beauty creations flawless day oh and this one was in the packet now this is kind of like you put a little bit in your in your hands and or in your fingertips just a little bit it does go along the way but i feel like sometimes you need more so i will be wearing this makeup um for a couple of hours it is six o'clock uh oh if you guys hear baby i do have my camera so she is crying I don't hear her anymore but we'll see so my shade is fs 7.0 and i will be using the beauty sponge from makeup shack i think i should just like ooh, shake it first come oh there <laughs> and then there you go for now now i like to apply you know some makeup or some foundation but of course like not that much i mean i want it to be full coverage i'm more into that for it to be full coverage that way i don't have to put too much foundation but i know some of you guys do like to have or put a lot of foundation and this one is buildable but it should cover most of the parts so i know i just need a little bit more so i'm just gonna put some in here there you go and then i'm just gonna put it all over and then continue now this sponge is actually putting this foundation pretty good like it's not really picking up when well, right now it does because it's like i still have some in there but honestly like look you guys cannot really see the product in there so yeah it doesn't look as bad that is that now we are going with concealer which i don't have a, con a new concealer but so i'm going to use my tarte this is in medium and I'm actually running out of it, so I need to buy an extra good size. And then I'll put some in here. Because normally this is where my, see, like it's not, I don't have as much anymore. But normally this is where it creases, so. And then I'm going to go back with my beauty sponge. And now I'm doing it under my eyes. And I think that's it. I just feel weird doing my foundation first because normally I do. Now we're going to go with our eyeshadow. So I am just going to go for it. I usually, I normally go with like the colors in my shirt. Okay, so I am going to use She Makeup. Um, it is a primer, an eye primer. So that's the one that I'll be using. And I'm going to apply a little bit in this brush, which is the BH Cosmetics 4. And it's just like a flat brush. Because I have, I have this. Like a, it's a good applicator. I don't know. I'm just, I am a makeup girl, but I don't like to add too much. I just add what I need to add. I don't add too much. Like, have you guys seen that uh, one dip challenge, makeup challenge? I was actually watching, who was it? nikki tutorials yesterday and she was doing the one dip uh makeup challenge which for everything you could only do one dip of everything and i'm like and she was right like you know that actually helps other makeup artists like you know it shows them how much product they use and so i was like true true that okay so i think i am just going to start off with dunes which is this one Dunes, and it's like a light brown color. I'm going to use brush. It's like this And I'm just gonna put that on my crease 
Okay, next I think I am going with Sahara. This one right here. The same spot. <sighs> okay, guys, I think I got it to the same or to the what I wanted. Hey, guys, we have a guest in the house. Say hi, everybody. She's wide awake. She's gonna be here entire time of her video or my video. Say outfit check. Outfit check. She has some pink and navy blue socks. She has some pink pants or I don't know, that's that looks pink, but it looks like another like a rose pink. And then hi Rose onesie. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's our guest for today. Until the end of this video. Say bye. She said bye. Okay, guys. So I am putting this one on the edge. The teal one, which is this one. I'm not going to go all the way up. Just do my eyelid. I'm trying to intensify this color, and I think it's getting there. I really need to intensify this color. Maybe with my fingers it would work. So I got like this much, and I'm going to try to apply that with my finger. Oh, much better. Look at that. There you go. Much better. So I did this off camera. I'm just not liking the brown the way it looks but so I put purple which is this one right here I put this one so I finished off camera I don't know if you guys can see it but the purple and the blue so I'm just not liking the brown on top but it's okay so I'm just gonna do this eye so now I am going to put the concealer on on this brush which is do color 4 and it's a flat brush and I'm doing it over all my eyelid. There. Try not like to look up because then it's gonna stick. And then for the blue one, I'm using Dew Color. You can't see with one eye. Five, I think. And it's just a fluffy brush, a flat, fluffy brush. And I'm gonna put that on the on the edge. And I'm sorry guys if you see if you hear somebody laughing, that's my stepson. And with my finger, I'm just gonna rub the purple like this. And I'm just gonna tap it in there. It's just the brown. I think the brown just it like I don't know. Should have used other transition colors, but I have no idea. I just don't like it how it looks. Any suggestions or tips? Let me know. I won't take any offense to it. I am still learning. Just like any other makeup artist. They are still learning. And any tips and tricks would work. I think once I put like eyelashes, like you're not even able to see. Okay, so I am using a uh, Hello. This one. From Let's Do Makeup. And I'm going to put it here on top. Just to give it a little bit of pop. Just do the under right here, which I think I'll leave it the same color since it's already there. So I'm not putting too much because I don't want it too dark either. Hmm. What do you guys think? not the best but I think it's coming together okay guys so finally I am done with the eyeshadow Ugh. It's like super stressful but it's done so now let's get into the eyeliner oh I didn't even set my face so let's use this banana 
setting powder. I need like a little tray, but so I got my air spun right here and I just put a little bit in there. I'm just going to use my beauty sponge, tap it, and then just put some under my eyes. So that's where I put concealer. And then I'm going to put some in my nose and on the side. And then just tap it. Go over it with my brush. And take off anything excess that I have. Okay. Looks super white, don't I? <laughs> and now is the eyeliner. And the eyeliner is from e.l.f. And I'm just going to do a small line. And then, that's the teeniest, tiniest line I ever do. Sometimes I do it, like, pretty thick. I'm going to put some eyelashes, so. Okay, guys, so she finally calmed down, but she wanted to be carried. <laughs> um, hi. So I'm carrying her. We rarely carry her, like, I honestly... <laughs> I honestly just carry her like once in a while like I try not to carry her as much just because I don't want her to get attached to my arms so honestly I can say that I probably carry her like three times and that is it like I don't carry at her as much and I think like sometimes the reason why she cries is because she gets tired of laying down too much you know so yeah she's already falling asleep but she does tend to fight her sleep so she she cries and she cries and she cries until she falls asleep sometimes and sometimes i'm like shh, 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 like trying to trying to make her go to sleep and it does work but not all the time sometimes i literally have to wrap her in a burrito that way she can like completely fall asleep because she's like throwing hands all over the place and she goes crazy and she starts crying even more so yeah so the doctor also said that they prefer for babies being swaddled the first two months so that's what i've been trying to do and she is falling asleep she's our little baby madison can i multitask maybe so let's try it maybe not but let's try it okay so <laughs> okay guys so i am going to curl my eyelashes Just teeny tiny bit and then put some eyelashes okay guys so the eyelashes that i got last time were these i need you and i dare you um but honestly i like the way they look don't get me wrong they're really nice but i think they look way too big on me because my eyes are super small but I tried them one time and like literally the eyelash was like I was like no like I need to get something that are like my size so I went into Amazon and I found these like they're not really that that like long they're pretty small so these were ten dollars and there's ten pairs so I'll link that down below that way if you guys want to try them and they had a good rating too 4.7 so if you guys want to try them, I'll link that below. That way you guys can buy some. I'm going with something subtle. I think I'm going for these. Yeah, I like these. These are super nice. Okay, so I'm going to cut from the back. Okay, guys, so... Ta-da! They're like super subtle lashes, but they feel super good. I'm just going to curl mine. Oh my goodness. Bless you. Bless you. Oh my goodness. There you go. What do you guys think? Good, huh? And now we're gonna do our bottom lashes. Rocky or Rocco? There you go. Okay guys, so I am done. I just need a little bit of mascara under. 
There you go. And then with my Lorella brush, I am going to use, I have contours, but I feel like they don't really like color my face. So I am going to use this one right here. That, I think that's the brownish one. Yeah, that's like completely brown. So I'm gonna use a little bit. And then a little bit on the top. I don't like to put a lot in my frente. And then with the same one, I'll put a little bit of blush, which I think I'm going with this one. And I don't know the colors, but it's from BH Cosmetics. But I think I'm going to go with this one. It's a little bit dark. Sorry, guys, my kids. <laughs> Um, it actually picks up the product really good. And this is from Lurella. This is a 10 piece in their uh, marble. That's it. That's it for my contour or my bronzer, whatever you call it. A lot of people don't know between contour and bronzer. If you guys know, please comment down below because I don't know either. Um, highlight. And I think I'm going to use Ah Hello from Let's Do Makeup. And I'm going to use this one from Lorella. It's just a fluffy one. And then I'll put some in the middle. And my lips. And then I'm going to use... One of my favorite brushes, which is this one right here, Luxie 140, and it's a really pointy one. I like to use that one for my inner corners. There you go. And then last is lipstick. And we are done with the look. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I, for the lipstick, I use Mariposa. And it's from Live Glam. And it's like a reddish, purplish kind of a thing. A maroon. So, yeah. And I'll be closing out the video later. Just because I want to see how, or when we come back, um, I want you guys to see how it looks. Um, it is 8.52, almost 9. So I've had it for almost 3 hours. And it hasn't increased or anything, so... Yeah, but I'll come back and show you guys the way it looks and all that stuff once I'm done closing or I'm done with the video. So yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Sorry, I have to close this video with my phone because my two batteries for my camera are completely out of battery and I was trying to go back and forth, back and forth, replacing them, but no, I couldn't. So... <laughs> yeah so that was a dilemma there i'm sorry if this video wasn't perfect um i do try to do these reviews and these uh to makeup tutorials for you guys to know the product and if it's a good product or a bad product but like i said only right here is where you can see like the little lines and, and kind of on my nose but not as much but other than that honestly like it's I mean, I like it. I don't know if you guys like it, but I like it. But yeah, that's a Beauty Creations foundation and also the setting spray and the primer. And the eyeshadow is pretty good too. And the lashes, so that's about for six hours. And yeah, so I like it. So now it's time for me to go take off this makeup because look, let me show you guys. It is. 12:36, and i gotta go to sleep because i'm tired and these contacts are like really drying so oh well but yeah like i said if you guys like this video please give a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell on the side for you guys to get notified every single time i upload a new video bye guys <laughs>